the all-new haste spell from experimentation to proper implementation. In other words, from fail to win. Greetings, my clashing friends, and thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with Clash of Clans attacks and some haste spells from fail to win. Now, this episode will have a little bit of fun with the haste spells, but we will also finish up with some advanced strategy using them in probably one of the most effective ways I've seen. So we started out here during my dropping phase from Titan 2, and this is, yes, a 10 haste spell raid. And remember that haste spell is just that, it's only haste, it only speeds up that unit, it doesn't work like a rage spell, does not increase their attacking power. So while it might look cool, especially when you've got a bunch of them stacked up upon each other like that with those little atom particles zipping around inside the circle, it is not very effective. Uh, it's going to speed up those units, especially slower units like golems, P.E.K.K.A. and balloons. But beyond that, not that effective, definitely not the way to go right here. And as you can see, this raid not having a great deal of success, but I kind of expected that from the start. And quickly, we're going to wrap up with a big loss here. 39 trophies, in fact, but we didn't really expect any other outcome. No means over these walls, no rage spells, freeze spells. Maxed out queen in the center, faithfully protecting her town hall. So we wrap up haste spells part one, the fail. Now moving on to part two, we'll use a little more strategy this time and I've only got three haste spells. So what we're going to do is open up a path using eight earthquake spells straight to the town hall from the far left edge of this base. So there you can see you can draw a straight line from that left edge where the golem went in right to the town hall. And now with my other units, I'm going to attempt to clear some of the surrounding structures and create a funnel for the troops to follow a path of haste spells right down that line. So we've got units at the bottom, clan castle troops are going to have to deal with down there, a few extra wizards at the top, and I'm going to drop my clan castle troops, which was a, uh, I think it was a stream clan, so I just kind of had a whole bunch of garbage in there, a medium level dragon. We're going to get those guys in there, eventually get the clan castle troops out of the way. Now I'm hoping to clear that air defense there that the wizards are working on, a couple of more structures, and then you can see we've got a pretty direct path right towards the town hall. So what we'll do next is watch and see how some of these different units look when they are under an extended haste spell. And what I mean by extended is we're going to string three of these haste spells out. One, two, and three. There we go. Big long path. And here we go. Minions streaking in, flying across the sky. The hog riders, those guys way faster. The king, there you go, queen. You can see how much faster she is. The balloons no longer slow. Goblins, I think my personal favorite under haste. And archers, my gosh, those are some Usain Bolt looking archers and barbarians heading right for the town hall. And that works out better than the last raid because we're targeting the town hall. We get it down for the first star. Good old level 40 heroes coming to the rescue. Not sure if we're gonna grab the second star, but at least we don't walk away a fail Fun to watch all of those different units using that haste spell, running the 100 yard dash in about nine seconds. So moving on finally to part three, the most effective use of a haste spell, and it comes from Roller playing Shaheen UAE. That's the first player ever to hit 5,000 trophies. And here he did not have clan castle troops available to him. So he moves in with a standard Lava Lunion attack coming in from the lower right. There are the two rage spells and there's the haste spell filling that void in between the two rage spells. And what this does is it accelerates the balloons out of that void in the middle. Very effective use of the haste spell gets them into the rage spells in that triangle shape much more effective than we've seen before. In fact, one of the most proficient ways I've seen a haste spell used, especially if there are no defensive structures in that area, accelerating the balloons out of that gap, and that is really the ideal purpose of a haste spell. You want to use it in an area where you don't want your units, where you want the units to get out of there as fast as possible. Works out very well for Roller getting those balloons into the rage spells. Now he hasn't dropped his heroes yet and he also has 10 minions, 6 wall breakers and 4 archers remaining. 42% damage, obviously he's hoping for the 2 star win here, but he's got 2 expos, a multi-target inferno and both heroes are still up. 
and we've got some structures in the way. Wall breakers down. The king's going to lead the way, and he's hoping the king is going to clear these other structures in the second layer and lead the way for the queen. Now, good use of minions over here on the left. After those defensive structures are distracted, the minions move in, and now he's at 50%, so he's grabbed that first star easily. So now it's just a matter of can the queen, a few wall breakers, and a lightning spell grab that town hall. Now it looks like pretty much a straight shot for the queen. Gold storage, archer tower, then the town hall is the third structure. But she's got a giant moving structure in the way in the means of a golem. And that is going to complicate matters. That is a lot of hit points that he is going to have to grind through with his queen before he gets after that town hall. And right here, it's kind of an interesting confrontation. You would think the golem, we know it's low DPS, it's slow in attacking, but watch just how far this golem can grind a level 40 archer queen down before she finally breaks him even off into two golemites. She is down to below 75% damage. A few more shots and she'll have the first stage of him down. There he goes, and now she's nearly down to 50%. Two golemites working on her. Forced to use the royal cloak, she finally gets the golemites out of the way. But that does not bode well for the rest of this attack, because the archer tower is going to be working on her while she's working on getting through. And then she wanders off to the left. Roller realizes it's not going to happen, ends the raid. Four trophies instead of eight, but still a very proficient use of the haste spell. Also, one more tip on defense, I believe the fact that that town hall was four spaces away from the wall instead of three made her change targets and wander towards that next unenclosed structure. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video. Thank you again for watching all the way to the end. Don't forget to check out my other videos, leave your comments down below, and I will see you guys again tomorrow with more Full Attacks. Calidon, these hotel bathrooms are rather nice. The tub's spacious and these towels, very soft. <laughs>